Hello everybody, you are watching Edis English Literature. I am Ardhan Dude. Today, we are going to discuss the ideal English classroom and how we can design it for the best teaching learning environment. I am talking particularly about elementary and high school classrooms, keeping in mind that the digital environment as well as traditional methods. When any student walks into an English classroom, they should feel that they have entered a place for learning. But the classroom is not only physical, but also mental. We can, many of us, remember the old classroom. So, we have to make a classroom clutter-free and every walls, even the ceiling to be made for that purpose. The chair, tables, desk, and all the elements like exercise book, textbooks, novels, papers, paints, dictionaries, oxid, everything should be in specific order. Preferably, they should be labeled, they should be organized for the sole purpose of providing a befitting education. The boards to be hung, the charts should be there, and the projector boards should be there. So, we have to make a classroom. I mean, everything should be in such a well-designed way that the English classroom should be vibrant one, should be attractive one. So my this particular lecture is motivated for that purpose, how we can make our English classroom different from others. The first thing is displaying works to the students. Now look at this. After all, the prime reason for displaying works of the student is to encouraging a sense of pride in the class pupils. This is a difficult to establish with tatty and torn work from the pupils who have long since left the school. I mean the best works of the ex-students. Uh, there is a place for keeping some works as models, but this needs to be made obvious display works in a headed section see possible an appropriate tag should be there the considerable proportion should be marked it it can be a greater piece of work with little elements other than as a display piece a batch of the students in which they are for what story is there for making that kind of project work and why you are displaying why the students should be attracted to um, that particular piece so you have work an extra work but uh, some people actively enjoy creating such displays so students be in on display and many of the current students all can enjoy how to make this leaderboard displaying more prominently into the class uh, i personally have tried this in my classroom those that the teacher feel are most important should be displayed on the same wall as the board as it is in this direction that most of the students are facing. Make sure that they are in the clear large front and that there is some variety in the way in which they are presented. Some may have accompanying visual images or, or in the form of projector, continuous projector display. Uh, we can make that digital inclusion also. These kind of displays are to be used as many as possible in the classroom. But uh, one sense of decorum cannot be missed. The next section is wall of infinity. Now students spend a lot of time gazing at the walls. Lost in thought or simply lost. We the teachers may wish to include key literary terms, vocabulary alternatives for critical essays or simplified label, descriptors, common spelling errors. This really is a surprisingly simple and effective way of helping information stick. Now, how I can do this? Here I go. The stick there, 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 many of the displays. And it's so attractive. So the back end wall should be a vibrant way of information for them. Keeping in mind the practical situation, 
many people are pursuing and advocating reforms of education, particularly the English education. When the English language is a foreign language, it is often focused that English should be a personalized learning. Teachers themselves have supported the cause of many of the students' development, particularly be it an English medium school or a Bengali medium or other medium of schools. But um, that kind of separate approach is quite difficult. So I have to motivate all of the class into a single motive. But there are different suggestions at different times. Now transforming the school environment into students' homely atmosphere or home environment is quite challenging. So the whining schoolboy of Shakespeare reluctantly enters into traditional English classroom. Now what happens next? The content was boring or not interesting and student quickly becomes disinterested in English and the rest of their subjects. Students turn into a troublemaker in the class because of my own boredom make the student drag into my classroom. Uh, they are to be dragged into the field of if the students found we could do English assignments with very little or no instructions or from help of our teachers. This continued through high school. The students don't challenge themselves to take harder English We classes. had already decided that English was a boring subject and in college our required classes included some boring classes that we skipped almost entirely or still received the highest score on my final. Students are very happy to be done with English and went on to work in respective jobs but now failed. You the teacher is to be blamed that they have passed through the English lens but without learning they have or without the fun of learning they have into, entered into the domain of world. Now after many years if those students re-enter into the English classroom and they determine that they are to be a great teacher in, in fact they will find that their teachers have missed. Now, they will find from their own history that their teacher has done nothing to make English as interesting. Now, we have to take this blame. We have to make a possible end of this fallacy. Now, English has to be taught in a interesting, in a full of energetic way. Now, I am not telling you how to teach into your own personalized area. I am just telling you that initial interest on English to be drawn by your own classroom. Now, traditional teaching assessment methods are there, but either in high school or in the primary school or in the early college, the exams, the performance tasks, everything, the, the competence and the demonstrated competency is to be designed by you but you have to make the student interested in subject that depends upon you and you with your words with your action cannot perform all the tasks just make an environment of yours in the classroom by which you can change the entire scenario just make an English classroom your burden your heavy tasks of doing transforming the students should be very easy in that sense. I am altogether make this kind of designs one by one and you can remake your designs several times and you can change those scenarios many a times. Now take this opportunity because not only the chair table, not only your voice, not only your own words are the very teaching parameters but your observations of the classroom, how you throw the words, how it echoes in the world, in the classroom, how the students can get your words with a perfect meaning, with the perfect weightage of you in the class environment depends upon you. So you can change, you can make your classroom interesting, vibrant and uh, by this process you can make 
a student interested in the English. I have seen many things. I have seen many changes among the students by little bit of changes. Even if you don't open the dictionary, just make a display at the walls. The student somehow, someday will put that dictionary open. Even if you have a vacant wall and that vacant wall you entitle that role number one or a particular student if he is given a pocket of blank page that you can make English graffiti anything you desire anything you like obviously his artistic skill will come out or the graffiti he makes in that particular page will be the graffiti of his life skill or he will make that graffiti interesting artistry that piece of English throughout his life. I wish you to be a great teacher in future and make your classroom your own and think twice before you don't make any changes because change or making a change is itself dynamic. And that dynamic quality is the greatest scenario of a fruitful teacher or a fruitful classroom. And English is such a subject where that skill is required, even though it is taught as a mother tongue or it is taught as a second language. Like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel to stay tuned this kind of post or discussions you can also pop up in my blog www.ordhendude.blogspot.com to get this kind of post. Bye bye for now.